Lauren um, says, I'm planning on starting IVF plus PGD soon, but would like to train for a half marathon that takes place at the end of April. What is the time frame for collecting embryos, and is it risky during to train during collection injections? Well, that's a question. So uh, now it's January, and she's going to be running a, a mini uh, marathon uh, in April, was that? April, yes. And... Uh, does she say how old she is? No. Okay. I'm so guessing. if she were like uh, older, like 38 or 39, I would I would tell her, if you're serious about this, forget about this marathon. You can do it later. Uh, if it's a half marathon, she's not she's a, uh, a heavy-duty competitive uh, racer, and so she can just forget about it for right now. But let's say she's uh, 25 or 30. Uh, there's no problem waiting until the marathon is over. Uh, it just really depends on the age of the eggs. That's the that's the most crucial thing. Now, she mentioned she's doing PGD. Maybe she means PGS. PGD is if she's a carrier of a genetic disease that, and she wants the baby not to have that disease, then you do the biopsy and you check for that particular mutation so that the, you wouldn't have a baby born with that disease. That's PGD. She may be using the expression wrong. PGS is we're just routinely checking for chromosome number to try to grade uh, or uh, classify the embryos. She's a carrier of SMA. Oh, I didn't hear that. She's a carrier of SMA. She's just typing it in. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I wasn't reading it. Sorry. <laughs> well, okay. So, is and her husband's a carrier of SMA? She is. She is. Yeah. So, spinal muscular atrophy is a pretty serious thing. So I think it really is important for her to have uh, PGD. And if she's young enough, then uh, she can wait till the, after April. But uh, if she's getting up there in years, then I think she should focus on having the baby uh, and sort of put off the half marathon. Uh, 